And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Often people ask me, what's a theme you want to see more of in games? Food! Which makes sense, right? Well, this is a game uh, that has that is about food. It's from Table Toys Game. It's from Indonesia. There's quite a few games that are coming out from Indonesia. This is the first one I think that I've reviewed, War Room Wars. And in this game, you have your own restaurant. You're trying to get the ingredients you need so that you can put together some recipes and get make your customers happy. I'm in. Let's check it out. You have a bunch of recipe cards, and you're going to put out a row of them in front. The number of cards here is going to be determine the number of players. Each player is going to pick one of the chefs that they're going to be. So I like to be Mother of Spice. And then you'll have some customer cards here and ingredient cards at the beginning of each round. You'll take six ingredient cards per player. You're going to look at your cards. You're going to pick one, keep that one, and pass the rest. Uh, to the next person who picks one and keeps one and so on until everyone has six cards. Then in player order, order, starting with the person who goes first, you can discard cards from your hand to complete a recipe. So for example, I could discard these two meat to complete this delicious looking dish here. Um, if I want to, I could also discard if I have the special uh, extra ingredient. So here I have the pepper too, which is shown in the corner. I can do that. So right now this gives me two, but if I discard the pepper card also, I will get a bonus two points, which I'll just take one of these tokens. And so now I have four points. And then that card is replaced with other cards. So there's lots of different recipe cards here, and they're going to be worth some. You can see some are uh, much more difficult to do than others. Some require six ingredients, but they can give you 10 points when you finish them off. If you finish one off, you also get a customer card. And so many of the customer cards, if you don't use them by the end of the game, they're worth a point. Some are worth more, like she's worth three victory points. Some let you do something like steal a customer card from another person, or this guy here is worth minus one victory points at the end of the game. This person is a meat card for you. This person here stops the person targeting you. This lets you steal a card from another player. Let's you. This person's rice. This person is a unique card, whatever it might be. And that's it. Once the round's over, you'll shuffle the cards, do them again. If you didn't get anything, you get a Go Boy, and they're basically just a wild that you can use. You can only have one of those, but hopefully the next turn you will be able to do it. When this pile runs out, you will add up all the points that you got from these cards and from your customer cards, and whoever has the most points is the winner. The art on the cards is really well done. I really, man, I haven't, I gotta be honest, I haven't eaten most of these dishes, but they look really good. Mm. And, the, and the art is really well done. I like how they look. Uh, the art for the character cards is more cartoonish, right? When I look at this, it's like, it's a, kind of like a silly type thing. This guy's Master of Grill, Fiery Madam the Swift Chopper, the Genius Duo. And these each have special points, which are very easy to do. Everything is written very clearly. Card quality is okay. It could be better, but it is thick. There's that. And these tokens could be better, but overall, the component quality is pretty nice. And this box certainly doesn't hurt the whole thing. It just looks really delicious. Well, I like drafting games. It's one of my favorite mechanisms, to take cards and pass them to other people. And that's a cool idea. The problem is, in this particular game, the drafting's okay, but the luck kind of supersedes it, especially when it comes to first player marker. I'll draw some cards and be like, oh, I'm going to get enough stuff to buy, get that recipe out there. Well, sure, if it's still there and I'm like I'm third player, someone else might get it. Then all those cards I drafted aren't very useful at that point in time. I also don't know that there's enough ingredient cards in the game. Now, to be fair, the rule book doesn't say that you, that you must discard ingredient cards from round to round. I'm pretty sure you can keep them. Otherwise, it would be almost impossible to get most of the recipes. So we assumed you could keep them. But at some point, you were running out of, we were running out of cards, very few cards. So that just seemed like an odd thing for that to happen. The theming is great. I look at this delicious looking food. Uh, and really, you know, getting the ingredients, getting the customers, and using your special abilities. But at the end of the day, it's just kind of okay. I just draft the cards I need, and then maybe I need them or not. And if I do, 
I put them down. And sometimes the cards that you look for aren't even in the draft. It's not like the cards are that different. They're just ingredients. They're not like, ooh, this card does this and this card does this. Which one do I want to keep? No, you're just like, I need meat. No meat, pass. Oh, meat, good, I'll keep it. The special abilities on the characters themselves, too. Some of them feel better than others, like the Genius Duo. You get five victory points at the end of the game for each pair of menu cards you've cooked with the same name. That's fantastic, if they ever show up. While this person gives you two, an extra customer card if you cook a menu with five or six ingredients, if you pull it off. Um, this one here, you may add a supplementary ingredient card when you cook the menu without one. That's a really big deal. This person gives you two points as long as you draft one of those cards. And her ability is better. Or this guy, after the shopping phase, get an extra ingredient card from the deck. Again, his stuff it will tend to work more often than the others. So I didn't feel like there was an exact balance in the game between the special powers. I still really want, I, I mean, I want to like this one more than I do. I don't dislike it. I think the game is fine. I just think the theme is great. I like the, the, the look of the game. But there's a lot of drafting games out there. And this one just feels a little stunted compared to the other ones. But it's a good first try for sure. That's War Room Wars. Dice Tower Judgment, it's okay, but just needs a little more spice.